Hey there, it's Bread of Booster Therapy back with another giveaway for the month of September 2020. This month we're going to be giving away a Tulane Brawl deck to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do, same as the previous months, is like and comment on each of our videos and come October we'll be picking one of those comments from a subscriber and giving them the Tulane deck. Thanks again for all of your love, all of the support, and enjoy today's video. Welcome back to Booster Therapy. It's time. Zendikar Rising. We're about to cure that pack cracking addiction on pre-release weekend. Opening this, and full disclosure, no prices are going to be added. Just because there's going to be some wild fluctuations in the first week of this. So soon we will, but right out the gates, probably not. Look at that. They've got a little uh, tab in there now to keep the box topper from going crazy. And box topper time. Expedition. We'll save it for the end. And it's a wonderful Japanese print run, so we get the more durable paper quality. Look at that awesome insect. That is a great looking token. And then we get the farts. Back to the fart lands we go. Oh, and a foil Verizol, the split current. Shiny, rare, right off the right out the gates, and an inscription of insight. Excited to get into some of these kicker spells. We get the flip cards. That literally just, I mean, if you're going to play a planes, I feel like you just play that within reason. I mean, you don't want too many of them, but I see, I just see value. There's just a lot of value in just having that. All right, I'm not usually good with the pull tabs. I'm more of the, you shake it once to make sure all the cards are down so you don't bend them, and then you just open. Look at that beautiful swamp. Can you get a foil in every pack or something? The Spring Mantle Cleric. That is a beautiful foil, though. Put foils off to the side. Then we get Nahiri's Lithoforming, where we can sack a bunch of lands, play a bunch of lands, do some other things. It's a shenanigans card. Do you get one of these in every pack? One of the modular lands? I think that's what they're called, right? They're the modular lands. Oh, dropping cards off on the side here. You know what's weird is I've gotten so used to uh, opening double masters and dealing with a curse that I don't even know what it's like just to like open up a a non-cursed box of something. A beautiful, beautiful island. The Wayward Guide Beast. This one's gonna get play. Red Deck Wins is getting a lot is going is falling out of it, but it is getting refueled a bit with some super awesome. Including even one of the uh commons. There's a common on there that is I think it's a one mana, zero one landfall, plus two, plus two. Like that, that has to see play, right? Like I think so. Mountain. Ooh, are they all supposed to look like this? A full art river glide pathway, which flips into lava glide pathway. So you pick which pathway you want. It's one of the pathway lands. We're gonna track that. Are they all supposed to be that beautiful? That is a gorgeous card. I'm excited for that too. Like, they don't come into play tapped. That's so good. It is It is a more creative way to make another option for dual lands that I honestly wouldn't have thought of. Like, I really think that was a great idea. Glass Pool Mimic. Is the, oh, this is the one that can be a copy or it can just be a land. Again, like, wouldn't you just always play this? Because, like, worst case scenario, it's a, it's a tapped island. We get a Geopede. You gotta have a Geopede. If we're play if we're on Zendikar and you don't have Geopedes and links and stuff like that, it's just, uh, you're just not Zendikar, man. Not without them. Those are the landfall beasts we dream of. Jeez, these lands are beautiful. I am such a fan of returning to some full arts. Arc Priest of Iona. I think you do. You must get a modular card in every single pack. So far, we have, anyway. Hoping to see some uh, some amazing mythics here. Island. I think Omnath, last I looked, was the highest. But again, like, the prices are just going to change so much. Crawling Barons. Solid little card that can turn into a beastie. Alright, we'll kind of speed this up. Nobody has time for commons and stuff like that. I should leave a spot for... All the mythics we crack. 
I love that every first printing now has the uh, Japanese print run too for standard sets. It's awesome. Planes, the roiling vortex. I keep hearing people say rolling. Rolling is R O L L. Roiling though. That's what this is all about because we're on Zendikar. It's about the royal, friends. We're dealing with the unstable royal trying to reclaim its land. Another beautiful swamp. And the Coral Helm Chronicler. One of the good wizards in the set. I've never really tried to see how fast I can open it, so let's try to do that. Let's just get right to it. Molten Blast, beautiful foil. Great draft card. Felidar Retreat. I've seen some infinite combo work with that bad boy. I think it's going to be a fun one for Commander. Anything that generates tokens off of lands just feels good. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a token. We'll keep the copy tokens. Island and... Kaza Royal Chaser, the kind of wizard tribally boy. If you love wizard tribal, do you play? Do you have an Adelie's deck? I feel like you would be great for Adelie's and just spell slinging and pumping people up, having fun, doing nonsense. A fearless fledgling, Jesper Icing at his best, and the Swarm Shambler. I love the potential this card has, too. I love anything with a lot of mechanics like that, or a lot of options on growth. They're just fun. They're fun to play. And that's why I lose magic all the time. Drake. Planes. And another pathway. Okay, so they're not all like this. That was just a full art beauty. But this one, we get the Selesnia pathway. This is a, they're sweet double-sided cards. Again, I just really love the idea of the pathways. And this one had, what, six or seven in it, right? Didn't we get six or seven variations of it? It's probably six or eight, something like that. Swamp. And a foil one. How does the back end of the foil look? Let's look. I mean, it looks great. So double foiling a card looks good. Draina, our first mythic, the last blood chief. Actually, popped that in the second pack of a draft and had to totally shift my color scheme that I had began working on. And uh, it paid off because that card is brutal in a draft. You just can't keep me dead if you don't kill that boy. Forest. Oh, baby. Look, look at that foil rare. Oh, man. This is the Phyleth is the one I wanted. The World Sculptor. So this guy is going to become a commander deck, 100%. Inscription of Abundance, another one of the good kicker spells I'm excited for. I do. I'm one of the guys that has a kicker deck in commander. So, you know. That's going to work. That Phyleth looks great, though. Island. And Morag, Fury of Akum. Another one people are excited for for commander. And another one of those... The showcase bordering, I don't know what you guys want to call it, but it, it looks fantastic. Like, that card looks sick. I Wizards, my love letter to you this year. For the things that people complain about, let me give you one that I love. I love how much you're experimenting with different styles, options, art. It is awesome. I think as a fan, we get to really appreciate it. Soul Shatter. Good one for Commander. Oh, look at that. The brush fire elemental. I might put start putting some of those aside, man. The landfall showcase arts just they look too good to not appreciate. It. Forest. And the Mall of the Sky Claim Claves. So that's right. We get we get a handful of solid enough equipments in this just because there are some equipment effects. You couldn't be a core fighter if you weren't someone who could use equipments. Mountain. And the Null Priest Oblivion. Another really fun card. Just doesn't end. What a great set. I mean, has every set just been great this year? I've had people even tell me they hated Ikoria, and I think you're insane. It was great. Tazri, Beacon of Unity. We get our third mythic. 
And it's another, it's a five color commander this time. And another just really solid card. I think, I wonder if allies will go in that direction. It definitely adds value to the allies deck. It doesn't necessarily have to be. The other Tazri could be the commander still. But both are just so strong. Oop, we got another one, another pathway. We got Bright Climb, and the backside is Grim Climb. So we get the the black, white, Azorius. Super fun one. Cat token. Planes. We get a Foil Hegra, Hagra Constrictor. And Zareth San, the Trickster, for your Rogue Tribal deck. So you're going to make Rogue Tribal? I know it's one of the commander decks you can get with Zendikar Rising. Are you going to be the one that buys it? Island. It's a beautiful island. A foil glacial grasp. And Valcut Awakening. The, the pseudo wheelie effect. Great way for red to draw cards. And if nothing else, hey, it's a it's a mountain, guys. It's a mountain. It's It's just good. I'm just excited to see what other mythics we get. However, however many showcases we get. Mountain. Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Again, they're just upping up the game nonstop with fantastic options for Commander. You wanted to play Equipment Commanders? I think Akiri is a super fun option for you to whirl with. And then you get something like Sunforger in there, and it's just extra value across the board. Mountain. And then we get a third foil rare? Nighthawk Scavenger, what in the heck? So three foil rares in this box and Shatter Skull Charger, the Giant Warrior. Another one that could definitely see some play in Red, Deck's, Red Deck wins. And the Rune Crab for another one of those beautiful showcase pieces, man. Those, are, those look great. I don't know how you all feel about these ones, but this whole like expedition look, I love. I think it looks great. Mountain. And another mythic. We get a Miria's Call, the one that can flip into a land that you can pay life and not let it come into play tapped. I'm not sure how I feel about those. Again, I think worst case scenario, it's uh you know it's a planes that you're gonna likely get hit with free life for. So that could work with Death Shadow. I don't know what to tell you. Forest and Shadow's Verdict. A great removal spell. Love anything that exiles. Love to see some more of the landfall alternate art. So those things just look amazing. Insect. A swamp. And the royal eruption. I feel like this card could see play. It sucks that it's a sorcery, but the kicker, and it's to any target, is kind of nice. Thieving Skydiver. Alright, so I think it's safe to officially confirm. There's definitely a modular card in every pack. It was probably announced too. I just wasn't paying attention. That's a beautiful swamp. Confounding Conundrum. Oh. You know what, I'm going to dig back through. I kind of want to keep these separate. I bet you there's a ton of commons <laughs> that I haven't been pulling out. <clears throat> Trying to go so fast, I'm not even doing the full scan. Yasharn. Yasharn? Yasharn? Implacable, impa implacable earth. Does that all sound right to everyone? Good. Now I'm, now I'm starting to wonder, is there a, is there an alternate or like a showcase art in every path that I, pack that I've been mi missing? What's been your favorite so far? So we've had like, you know, it started with Throne, right? Throne was the first time we got to see it with the beautiful kind of storybook. But all the, of all the showcases, what has been your, your favorite? Myriad Construct. I think, I think for me it's Ikoria, but this could take the cake. Like, I really like how Phyleth looks. I really like how the <clears throat> the different cards, the bordering and everything just looks really 
Very on theme, at least. Jiraga Visionary Foil. And the Skyclave Apparition. Getting down there. How many more packs we got left? Two. We got four packs left. And then we'll dive in to the box topper and check it out. See if we uh, get one of the fetches. But I know there's a lot of expeditions. 30 different cards. And in my opinion, they're all pretty damn good. Like, you're not super sad with any of them. Especially when it's just a bonus. Remember, we're paying for all of this the same price we paid for any other set. You know, so... Eh. Aura. Skyclave Hierophant. It's the buy a box promo, depending on uh, what your LGS is doing. Actually, don't know if mine gave that. Instead, I think they gave us uh, set boosters. Forest. Ooh, the Scute Swarm. The Cute Mob is now a Cute Swarm. And we got the Showcase Art. Oh, that looks amazing. Anything with Landfall, sign me up. Ooh, another one, Skyclave Pickaxe. It just looks so good. The green is so vibrant. I really like that. And man, hopefully we snag one more Mythic here. And I, we've only hit four. Copy. Ooh, a foil planes. I wonder if you'll get about a foil a box for the full arts. And the Kazandu Mammoth. Another good landfall creature. And the Skyclave Geopede. Of course, you get the Geopedes in every Zendikar set. Last pack. Last shot for a Mythic. Whoop! Valakut Exploration. Definitely an interesting card. We'll see how that one plays out. Again, any sort of card advantage in red is usually pretty dangerous. All right. It's the box topper time. And if I recall, they can only be non-foil. They've moved the foil options to uh, just the collector's boosters, which I am fine with, because that means no curling. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, Black Cleave Cliffs. We got one of the, not one of, I think this is the best fast land. This has a weird texture to it. I don't know if, I mean, you can almost see it on camera how it looks a little bit different, but this has a very unique texture. But very nice. Love that every box is going to have one of those. That's amazing. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. We're going to be opening a ton more of this. So we just wanted to get something out there with today being, well, pre-release. Good luck on your pre-release at home. Good luck staying safe. Have fun. And, uh, you know, until next time, you have a wonderful rest of your day.